Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. Today I am reacting to a dance on America's Got Talent. There are some dancers who are doing hip hop on point called Hiplay. And I actually know the founder, Homer, who is amazing and so sweet and a wonderful personality. I'm so excited to see that his dancers are on such a big show. I'm so excited. All right, let's see. I'm Allison. I'm Taylor. I'm Alexandria. I'm Nia. And I'm Nia. And we are the Hiplay Ballerinas. There are actually way more than this. There is an entire class that he does that he trains on point and he does all kinds of cool weight training to make the dancers really strong. I think he's doing an amazing thing for the community. As little girls, we always wanted to be ballerinas, but the opportunity was not always there for us. Most professional ballet companies, they want everyone to look the same. Being an African-American woman with hips, with thighs, in dance, it was never really accepted. Growing up, I had the right body type for ballet, but I didn't ever realize like what was missing. Like I didn't think I was good enough. And <laughs> it definitely makes me sad to think that there are so many people out there that are not still dancing because they didn't feel accepted. And we want to show little girls out there that you don't have to fit the mold. You don't have to be what they're asking you to be. I didn't realize that they were going to go this direction. This looks pretty ballet. They became famous because they were doing a lot of hip hop on point, but it looks like they're doing more ballet on this one. It's really cool. We put in a lot of work for this and we work really hard, so we hope you like it. <laughs> yeah. It's gorgeous. I love that they're all different heights. Even that is kind of cool because if you look at a lot of ballet companies, a lot of the, the core members have to be similar heights because they have to look very uniform. But I love that all of them are different heights, they have different looks, they have different body types, and it just shows that you know, ballet's for everyone. We are hip lay ballerinas. We're from Chicago. We are a ballet company. We focus on inclusivity. We welcome our differences and welcome different shapes and sizes. Historically, not something that ballet companies look for. They are looking for a certain body type. They are looking for a certain look. They're looking for a certain height, depending on what company it is. And it's very empowering to see certain ballet companies accepting of all body types. And I think ballet is going towards that direction. So it's really nice to see. Why ballet? Because ballet is quite boring. Yeah, it, it can be. <laughs> Simon! <laughs> I can't hate you. Unless you have the right dancers. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> can I be honest with you? I've never lasted more than a minute. <laughs> So I'm really curious to see what you're going to do, and best of luck. Swan Lake. Those are Gaynor Minden. Oh, there it is. I knew it. I did. I knew that they were not going to do ballet the whole time. Yes. <laughs> Yes! Oh my gosh, they are all legs. Oh, doing some salsa. What? Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Wow. Wow. 
That is amazing. That is incredible. They're clearly strong and beautifully trained. Hip belay ballerinas were very controversial because a lot of people thought that it was dangerous for them to do certain moves like this, but there's a ton of other pieces of dance that incorporate moves like this in their dance and they're typically not criticized but for some reason hip play ballet was. I thought this was an incredible mix between strength and beauty and fun. I think that they're amazing. Congratulations to everyone in the hip play ballerinas. Congratulations to Homer. I hope you guys just kill it.